Hi, Hi. Vanessa. Hi. It's nice to meet you. You too. So, you play the character White Widow. Yeah. And she has an incredible name, by the way. <laughs> Sounds really <laughs> I mean, awesome. I'm still not quite sure why. Anyway. <laughs> and she's new to this film, and she's very mysterious. There's very little about her that you can find to read about sort of who she is, what she is. Could you perhaps describe her in the most cryptic way possible, while still probably encouraging people to, you know, go find out a bit more? Cryptic, yeah. Mm. Um, hmm. I mean, I suppose that's exactly it, really. You don't really know who she is, where she's come from, what she's doing, and more than anything, what her intentions are. And uh, that, in a way, was quite interesting to play because it meant that you couldn't play the obvious. You couldn't be necessarily straightforward about what you wanted. So you have to sort of be, uh, try and create a kind of unsettling presence where you just stare at everybody. Someone this morning was like, yeah, was it like a stylized thing? She like, you didn't really blink. And I was like, I think maybe. Well, I can't tell whether that was intentional or not. <laughs> he was like, your eyelashes were like weapons. Um, is that cryptic enough? That Which I find quite cryptic. odd. Anyway, but that wasn't the intention necessarily, but great, he got that from it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was a sort of to play kind of like a villainess, but try not to do it too obviously, which I don't know if I achieved, but yeah. I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> you also have another job elsewhere. So who would win in a fight? Yeah. White Widow or yeah. Princess Margaret? Who would win? Mm. Oh God, that's a good question. I think, in the end, Princess Margaret. What, because Royal? If you just, like, release the hounds, or...? I just feel like she would fight to the death. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. they'd probably take each other down, and she would just make that one last, like, bitch. And, like, <laughs> yeah. I think she probably would. OK, interesting. Why do you disagree? No, I have no idea who'd yeah, win. Yeah. Um, we can all sit here and imagine. <laughs> there is an image. One of the key themes of the film I noticed is essentially men being rubbish and then women coming in and cleaning up the mess they've made and just being kind of awesome. Is that something you think there should be a lot more of on screen? Well, it happens off screen, doesn't it, most mm. of the time? Right, guys? <laughs> no response. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think, hmm. You think that happens in this film? I Ilsa do, comes I do. along and, say, and saves the day. Angela. White Widow just sort of confuses everyone and gets the better of them. Yeah, confuses everyone, that's true. And me included, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, I think it's important, really, for, for women to be as present as the men, if not more, nowadays. Hmm. Which I think, yeah. Okay. Um, there's also a lot of stuff. It's quite well known that the filming of this film was sort of halted for two months because Tom Cruise uh, broke his ankle. What did you do to pass the time for those two months? Pass the time. Mm. Just sat at home and stared at the wall and yeah. waited for Cruise's ankle to heal. No, <laughs> I, I actually had to do the press tour for The Crown. So I was in Sydney and other countries um, talking about the show. So it actually was perfect for me. <laughs> um, Rebecca made a baby. <laughs> Um, don't know how long that took. Um, and uh, Henry said he had a nice holiday and went to sleep. So there was lots of lots of things about it which I think were probably nice for the cast as well as um, I know that they got to edit a lot and I think Chris was really um, pleased that he got that time because it's so rare you get that time in the middle of a movie to assemb assemble what you have and then change things from then on. You know, it's, I think that, I think it all came together in the end. It, it, it was me always meant to come out in July and it has, so they've managed to keep on target. That's very convenient. Um, one more thing, it'll be totally irrelevant by the time this interview goes out, but France or Croatia? I think it's going to be France. Croatia beat us, I'm pissed off with them. Mm, aren't we all? And we were just in France and they just, they won and there was, everyone was being, they were so happy and so. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you too, my love.